you know, it's a sentence he can live with. This, this boy can get out and, you know, this happened years ago when he was 19 years old. And it's just, a, it's a shame. Um, but, you know, I think a lesson learned for anyone who's these young Muslims that are on these chat rooms is get off of them. The government is listening on these chat rooms and they're rightfully so monitoring them. Thank God they are. Um, but I think that sometimes the government oversteps their, their, their situation here and tries to, in, a, in an effort to test to see if they are terrorists, I think sometimes they, they, they try to justify their own uh, statistics. You know, so I can be a little bit critical of the government in that respect, you know, trying to lump him in, you know, my client in with these other terrorists. It's just unfair. I mean, really, this this boy wasn't it just told him he wasn't going to be a terrorist. So they proved that he wasn't a terrorist. Yet, because he introduced the paid informant to the terrorist that he met online, he ended up in a very serious situation. Uh, the best thing that I'll say about that is he contemplated violent attacks here, here in Central Texas. Uh, we had indications that he had contemplated a variety of activities. I won't go into the details and specifics, but we've already seen examples around the country, you know, going back f as far as 9-11 to as recently in Boston bombing and beyond. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to be a violent person and to commit uh, horrible atrocities. And, and as mentioned before, our mandate, our duty you know, with the U.S. government, the FBI, Department of Justice in general, uh, our duty is to prevent as many of these attacks before they occur, um, not investigate them after the fact. Uh, it's, it's our duty to stop them before the attacks occur. We have had questions about uh, the use of informants and the use of undercover personnel. There's a variety of techniques that we use, but at the end of the day, these people make these decisions themselves. And they come to these ideologies and make the decisions themselves to become violent actors. That's when we become involved. And it's a partnership that we have, of, of, again, across law enforcement to make sure that we stop them before uh, any violence occurs in our communities.